Hi there, my name's Dave and welcome back to my channel. Well, I've been away for a little while, um, not been lazy. I joined a camera club, local camera club, to uh, just to push myself a bit further because I was getting a bit stagnant on my own. And now I have lots of uh, very good photographers <laughs> giving me great advice and uh, apparently a couple want some advice from me, which is a bit odd. Um, so that's been good. What else have I been doing? Um, I've been focusing on using one developer uh, for my black and white films. And the wonderful John Finch explains the recipe and everything in his great book, which you should get. I'm not sponsored by John at all, uh, but I pester him a lot. <laughs> And uh, the one I use is FX55, Crawley's FX55. It looks like I'm looking at my bottle up there and I'm thinking mm, maybe I might need to make some as well today. But anyway, um, it's an eco vitamin C developer. And so far I've had good luck uh, with, with it. Um, it's worked out very well. And today's films are Fomapan 400, which I know works well. And I've got lots of that to get through. So that's why I'm using that. So in today's video, uh, I went out on my e-scooter, uh, the electric scooter thingy, locally. Um, in the video you'll see where I wanted to go, <laughs> but was stopped. And then where uh, I ended up going, um, locally. Um, took some photos on the Canon F1 that I recently acquired, and the AE1 program, uh, which I recently acquired. And on that camera, um, I did a few things photos manually it's fine but then i switched it over to program mode so program on the lens program on the on the camera automatic on the lens sorry uh, and just to see how it came out and uh, we'll both go down that journey um i'm not going to do a developing the the film video uh, what i will do is take some pictures while i do it just so you get like a flicker book because we all know how to well maybe you don't but if you watch my videos and, and John's video, definitely John's videos, you'll learn how to develop um, uh, black and white films. So uh, I'm not going to waste your time with that. Um, so thank you for watching and we'll crack on. Right, so, welcome back after a long break, which I've probably already told you about. It's uh, off out on the e-scooter, Easter weekend, bank holiday weekend in the UK. And uh, today I'm trying out my Canon F1, new to me, uh, with FOMA and something I'm doing with film at the moment, Whoa. especially my black and white films, is my 100, 200 and 400 ISOs. I'm running them all at 200 ISO. Just for at the moment. And I'm not having too bad results really. Uh, so at the moment I've got a Foma pan, 400, loaded at 200 in my F1 and in my bag. I've also got hold of a cheap, for me anyway, cheap A1 AE program, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, running a 50 mil 1.2, uh, 1.4 lens, 1.2, uh, 1.4. And for today, with today's weather, probably F8 at 250. Is going to be the base settings. And now I'm coming down this brilliant path here because I keep driving past this particular building that we're going to going to shoot in a minute, and uh, I keep thinking it's going to be knocked down soon because it's the right state. So I'm going to capture it for posterity, not posterity. <laughs> And then we're going to go down the motorway on a bike. Oh, yes, we are. 
and we are going to go down a uh, I can't remember what it's called it's, it's the ah, keep, keep forgetting what it's called I'll, I'll put an insert into the film or introduce it. I just saw it on the on the map but it's a pathway when I went to, when I cycled to Uxbridge the other week I noticed that there was this underpass that goes under the motorway and then off somewhere and I looked on the map today and it's actually like a little trail path you know um, so I'm thinking there might be some good photographs there so that's the plan and if we accidentally find a pub along the way we accidentally find a pub along the way <laughs> oh dear okay so here is my target with a bloody car in front oh god why is it always the same eh? why is it always the same right, so just in case I didn't get that in that's the shot I'm going for I can make a little trend on it so I'm going to go about here and get that shot in so I'm going to get set up, take the shot and then we'll head off down the motorway Okay. That's the shot done. Quick idiot check of everything, because I'm an idiot, so I leave things behind. Got my camera. Right, so that's that shot done. Now we're off down the uh, motorway. Well, officially. Major A road, but lucky for me, there's a cycle lane that goes all the way along it, all the way down to um, Hillingdon and beyond. When I go to Uxbridge, I normally come off at Hillingdon and do the back roads up through to Uxbridge, which is a bit quicker. So here we go. So. Now down here somewhere, so that's uh, North Holt, I don't know if you can see it or not, I don't know if the camera's moved or whatever, but anyway, on my right is uh, North Holt Airport, We've got our own airport, marvellous eh? <laughs> and uh, here we go, nice pleasant, I've had to take my, uh, it's so warm today, this is uh, the Saturday of the Easter Bank holiday. It's so warm, it's for, for, it's half past two or three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to take my jacket and my jumper off. I mean, short sleeve order. Amazing. I'm sure I might need it a bit later, so at least I've got it. So yeah, it's so a North Isle Airport over there. On the right. Fields on the left. So I'll check something. Anywho, I'm having fun. Right, so here we go. Here's the underpass. So, this is the underpass that I've never been under. This is all new territory for both. Yeah, it's the Hillingdon Trail, it's called. There we go, it looks like a muddy path, but this is what we're dealing with. Okay. So yeah, this is what we're dealing with. I'm going to go under there. My camera's moved again, I keep. It hasn't moved really, it's just me, I think. Oh, there we go, yeah, it has moved. Can't tighten it up much, but anyway, sorry about that. But um, let's go. So we're going to go under this Hillingdon Trail. So that's the, so I assume we just go straight ahead. It's going to be muddy. It's going to be a bit of a workout for the e-scooter. I think I'm going to go past taking the obvious shot here. All right, oh, let's see if I can get, oh, there we go. Cool, this looks like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so I'm being careful. Up here, oh yeah over here. Oh look, there's a river. Well, I'll find out what that is. 
Oh, look at that. Okay, so this is going under the A40. So under the A40 we go. There's a little brook or river or something. Okay. Fine, okay, then we go up here. And we hit a block. You're right. Just damn annoying. Not good. Not good at all. Oh well. Uh, we'll take a shot at this field. Right then. So, still recording, okay. Right, well that was a little bit of a... Bit of a bonkers one, but hey-ho. So, back we go. So we both learned that I can't come this way. Which is fine, and now I know, don't I? It's a shame, though. No? It looked like a nice trail on the on the uh, you know what I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a shot of this as well. Why not? So put up a stop. Oh clock of six. And of course it's quite nice. So let's go. Yeah, there's not a lot left. There's not a lot on the right. Okay. Not really, not I can think of. Uh, no. So let's go left. Go back up the motorway. But this time, uh, where can I go? I can go. Uh, so I'm trying to think on the on the hoof here. Anyway, so we'll cruise back, okay, so you can see it going backwards now. Um, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Where to go? Where to go? Yeah, I could um, actually... Yes, yeah, the uh, cycle path. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so we'll go to the church. So I like going to the church. So don't go down the Hillingwood Trail on a bike. <laughs> you walk it, I suppose, but not on a bike. I've got normal GoPro stuff, but for some reason they don't lock in tight enough. Anyway, now straighten the camera again. Let's. Uh, Go from here, take 756 million. Off we go. As I said earlier, some of you might recognise this trip with your daily commute in the car into work. We're at uh, Polish War Memorial. Oh, I can do that. What do you reckon? Get a picture of the Polish War Memorial. Think on your toes. Turn a fail into a hopeful success. <laughs> Pardon the pun, refocus. <laughs> Alan Partridge. <laughs> okay. 
So this is going to be pretty airy scary. But I'm going to leave the camera on because I want, to, I want you guys to see what I'm tackling for the love of photography. A, I'm on the wrong side of the road, right? Okay. But couldn't get over, so that's fine. Anyway, so now I've got to tackle this roundabout up here. They aren't pleased with cyclists at the best of times, so let's see how I do. Okay. Well, I've got an added problem. Okay, here we go. So, I wonder. I've got to figure my way over. I do know that the cycle lane carries on over there, but then I've got to try and get across. So anyone at Lillingham Council looking at this, any ideas? I will take all the road, but... Go on then, wait. Right, okay, so this is the cycle lane, as you can tell. And now then, I need to be over there, right? So I've got to go across here. See, there's, there's a dip here, but I've got to wait for the cars. So, over here here. This is where I could, at night time, turn the light, it's where I could get uh, light trails at the night time, or if I put a ND filter on, do it the other way, not so much, but the other way, definitely that way into London. There's a bridge down there as well I could do it at, which I have done. I'll do that again one night if I'm up late. Right, here we go. So I've got to cross here, which isn't, it's a bit hairy scary, but people do it. Okay, so go, 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 go. And then up here. And this is the memorial to all the Polish pilots and soldiers who died in World War II. Very famous, here it is. I've got to try and get across. See what I mean? A bit hairy scary. We're all off to uh, Sainsbury's. Right, so here we go. Here's the So I don't need a tripod here, I just, unless I want to do a slow up picture. So I'm going to walk around here, can't bring the bike or anything, so I'll have to uh, turn you off here. And uh, I'm going to take a walk around, there's a big wall of names around the back there which I'll get shot of. And uh, back in five. Okay, so this is Polish War Memorial, I've taken some photos before. But uh, just could do that, so I couldn't do it on the uh, GoPro. So over there, over there, the names of the brave men that unfortunately lost their life. So I'm going to take some pictures on the film on the F1 and be back in a moment. Right. Okay. So that is the Polish War Memorial. Uh, got some nice shots here, I hope. Although I did bracket them because I do like this place. It's nice, nice to remember. Anyway, off we go. I had to change over to the 28mm lens from the 50. Let's get this wide shot. I think you can see in the camera. I've got the sun against me, so I can't really see it. So, uh, yeah, let us go to church.
why not? Let's go to church. Uh, on the way down, yeah, oh, nothing on the way down that I'm aware of. But if I spot anything. <coughs> But to see is pleasant enough to let me across the road. Should be here. No. And here as well. Thank you, thank you very much. That's nice, isn't it? Nice man there. There are some nice people. Anyway, so we're now going uh, from the Polish War Memorial to St Mary's Church, North Holt Village. Again, along the cycle lane that runs uh, along with um, the A40. La da 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 da. There is a church up here on the left, actually. Um, I might take a sort of quick snap of just as a recce shot, maybe come back later. I've only got a few shots left on the roll of uh, FOMA uh, 400, I'm shooting the 200 on the F1. But like I said earlier, I've still got my, uh, I've bought me uh, new to me AE, uh, AE program. I've got the AE1, so I've also now got the AE program. I just fancy giving that a bit of trial run, see if the light seals are okay, you know, general stuff. Anywho, here we go. Right, so, so I've got to go down there to get across. But one of my videos you saw me come out of before. But here's the church. So, what do we reckon? I'm going to turn it in. Turn the camera in. Hopefully, you'll see it. Oh, wait a minute. And look, so there's the church. See what I mean? It's not a lot to it. A lot of character, really. It's just a, yeah, it was nicely built, obviously, but let's go around the front. Uh, I don't know. Should I take? I'm gonna. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a picture of that. Stay on the bike. and take a picture of it. Just as a. Just in case it gets knocked down in the next 10 years or so, and somebody might want to uh, somebody might want a picture for posterity. Oops, take the lens cap off now. Close it up. Okay, right. 28 mil. 5.6 250. That's another thing I'm tending to try and do now, is shoot at 250. One. I'm going to open it up one, just in case. That'll do. F4 that was. So that's just a, you know, a church was here at some point photo. Okay, so let's uh, turn around and go down the subway. Ooh, oh. That's it. Okay, there we go. I'm not down the steps. Well, the suspension on this e-scooter is brilliant. <laughs> I think it would be afterwards. Mackie D, McDonald's. Me, I've got to lose weight. The reason I'm losing weight, or well, weight for health, but oh, 
is this thing. E scooter, because I need to get more mileage and I've got to lose weight. 20 miles to the battery charge I get at the moment. So, uh, yeah. Could do with um, losing a few kilos. Uh, so it's um, this way, I believe. Yeah. <coughs> Way. And look at this cycling uphill. With no effort. Look at that. Marvellous. And off we go. So you can see the hills over there made from uh, made from the bricks and stuff from uh, Wembley Stadium when that was smashed down and they put it all there and there was a lot of hoo-ha about it. It's actually turned out to be one of the most popular attractions now. The park and the hills put it out there and do whatever they do. So yeah, you'll see in a minute when we go to the park how busy it is. Anyway, I'll keep going. Now some of you may have seen pictures of this church before, so I have shot it before. It's like going here because it's whoa, oh, look, a big bump. Um, I've shown it before loads of times. I do like going there. It's a nice, picturesque church. Never waste a film on that. Always comes out good. It says <laughs> car box or everything. There you go. But now I'm on the 35, I, I probably won't need to use the um, use the tripod too much unless I just want a dead straight, you know, a dead steady shot. But we'll see. I have it. So the park's to the right, the church is to the left. So around it. Here it is. Lovely, looking good on the hill. Marvellous. See it through the trees there. Wonderful. Right. Oh, we've got some daffodils as well, which is good. People playing, which is nice. <sighs> right, so. I might be able to get a pretty good if I can get myself steady. So if I do this, I might be able to actually get myself a nice steady shot here actually. Just by using the e scooter as a 500, and I'm going to go F8, F6, F11. Bracket at 500. Cool. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to take a picture. Oh, oh no, there's a bit of video. So, this is the uh, shot I got on video and the GoPro. So, that's that. And a photo. So, I'm going to take a photo. Square it up, but that's just for reference. Uh, full focus, I've got some beautiful uh, daffodils, got the trees, get rid of the house on the left, got house on the right. Ah, okay, that'll do, that'll be alright. Uh, yeah, let's put the church on the bottom third, and boom. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the church by the path around here and I'll see you up there. Okay. What do you think I'm on the last frame of the F1? I do have more film. I mean, I'm not running on low on film, but... You know. Okay. Let's get both cameras tested, eh? 
Looks like I can get some daft shots as well. Okay. Do that. So let's uh, go around. So I always go around using the path because going up the grass causes a bit of a problem. It's quite a steep hill. Oop. Thank you. To do the work. Six miles an hour. Seven miles an hour. camera hopefully you can see what I see and I'm gonna go down to my usual shot position which is down here <coughs> just here and I'll take my shots and uh, be back with you. Right, so here we go. Here's the church shot that I normally do with my uh, Bronicas and that, which I'm still going to revisit. Now I've got heads up, so I'm going to do some 35 mil work here, this kind of shot, and then we'll go go along the church and then down there where we get the church coming this way. All right, see you in a minute. Had a bit of fun with the alarm on the e-scooter because there's a few people around, so you never know. Anyway, so um, it's going to be fun. Squidgy mud. That's it. And reverse. Out. Okay, so back down the path. Could potentially walk the bike through there, but uh, prefer not to. So go down this way again. Gloves on. Okay. So now we're down the bottom of the hill, obviously. And keep out of the way of this dog. This little dog is going. Sorry, you, you go through. Oh, well, I was just, I was just keeping it like that's okay. Doesn't matter, more important than I am. <laughs> no problem. So, here we go. You keep going up there, that will take you to North Fault Station. And into London, if you want to. I'm not sure that pub's open. I think it is. I think it's been redone. I think it's been re-doodard, if that's the technical term. Right. Oh, look at that. Red tulips. Uh, 
and maybe you got a shot there. Yeah, bump. Right, so there's the, uh, the shot I'm going for through the trees, which I've done a few times, and I might even go over this way because it's a nice sort of circle kind of frame going on. So that's what I'm going to do while I'm off camera. Back in a moment. Right, so that's the church done. It's nice, nice and quick to be honest. Um, 250 ice, uh, sorry, 250 shot speed, and then uh, 5.6, 8, and left 11. It's just a general bracket in shot. Sure, we there we go. Yeah, so I've got some shots to compare with other ones that I've got from the church. So we go through there, see that road there? That'll take us, if we turn left, it takes us back to the other church. So, uh, I'm not doing that, because I'm going. I'll pull off down here. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, so off we go. looked at when you're riding an e-scooter. Okay. There we go. Right. So into the park. That's the car's gone. Go. Okay. Park, and then through here, and down this way, I think. Let's figure out what they're doing. Um, I don't like taking pictures of playgrounds because I don't, so I get away from here. And I'm not over keen on pictures of the hills with lots of people on them, although it does show usage, doesn't it? It's going to be further up here because there's one. If the trees were out, it'd be better. But they're not. But anyway, I've got to focus on not killing people. So. <laughs> it's winding up here. I didn't think of that. <laughs> I might do that when it's not so busy one day. <laughs> no reason why not, I suppose. Right, so let's have a look. Um, don't know about it. What's it registering anyway? That's 11. Right. Shot. Don't normally do this one, but it's 
some reason I see it today. Let's just have a look, see what we get. Clouds. Full depth, here we go. Boom. And that registered. Yeah, we're living again. It's on full program as well, that's the only thing I didn't mention, was it? Um, set there just for this trip back. I've got the program, the AE program, on program. Not being a literal lazy boy. I'll just see what I get. So I could be selling both me AE1 and the AE program. Uh, links will be going below once they're checked over, make sure they're working. You've seen me use it. Well, you haven't seen me, but you've heard me use it. Oh, I'll get the, oh yeah, yeah, I'll get the chair, which I normally do. Uh, oh yeah, and my willow which is a, to the right here. So I'll get that as well while I'm here. Over there, there it is. Hopefully it'll come out on, on the GoPro. So, it's all on program. It's a nice wide shot, try and miss the lamppost. Full wide shot, lots of green and boom. Okay, that's that. Um, So yeah, let's cut across the field then. Let's see how it goes on a partially wet. Not too bad actually. Suspension's kicking in. Thank you very much. Excuse me, sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother you. Just let I'm gonna take a picture that way. So you get the back of your head. Is that okay? Do you want me to go? No, no, not at all. Okay. I've just, I was letting you know what I am doing in case you say, what's this weird man behind me? <laughs> <laughs> but you was looking down on your phone like lady thinking, you know? So I thought I might <laughs> take, I, I take a lot of, I take a lot of pictures of this bench, a lot, you know, oh. uh, during the winter and all that sort of stuff. Mm. But it's just nice to see someone actually on it for once. You know? <laughs> so I'm going to just be over there. I'll take a picture and I'll go. So it's, it's okay. okay. Is that all right? I was letting yeah, you know. As long as my face doesn't show, then it's okay. It will not show. It okay. will not. It's just the back of your head. That's all. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Bless you. Thank you very much. Anyway, that's that done. Thank you very much. Well, I hope that was useful and the results were the results. <laughs> and as with any of this stuff, it's all experimental for me at the moment. Um, I wouldn't class myself in any way professional or uh, uh, I'm proficient maybe is a good word. Uh, again, I'm going to push John's book because it is great and you really do, you should get this because it's a mine of knowledge on all things black and white photography. Just get that. Um, thank you for watching. Please do all my link stuff. Subscribe and the thumb me thing if you would. Please, it does help. And uh, see you again very soon. A lot quicker than five months. <laughs> keep well and keep happy. <laughs>